You're watching Old Mate's Backyard Tech. As you saw in the IT acquisitions video uploaded earlier, Old Mate has managed to get his hands on another CyberPower 1500 VA UPS. A slightly newer model than the one that did the hand grenade thing on me and blew itself to pieces a few weeks ago. Well, this one is dead, and I reckon it's battery related. Nevertheless, though, we're going to take the top off it and make sure it is battery related and that that damn filter cap hasn't blown itself to pieces. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in, it is Friday, the work week is drawing to a close, I know there's a few hours left in the working day, but if you start looking forward to knockoff time now, you might just get a smile on your dial. Alright, let's get into this, as you saw in the IT acquisitions video uploaded earlier yesterday, I picked up another CyberPower 1500 VA or 900 watt UPS from a mate at his computer business. The comment was, it's dead. Now, as we know with the cyber power, and it is documented, there's around four, five failure points in them. One I suffered a few weeks ago when that damn filter cap uh, did the hand grenade thing and blew itself to pieces, causing the entire UPS to just fail right out. My hope is this is just a battery related issue and the batteries are flat. However, we are going to check the capacitor. Now, we've got to check it in circuit, unfortunately. But I'm also going to check whether the inverters had it. Check the IGBTs. Also, the transformer and the fuse. It may have got... The fuse may be blown. Now, as I said, this is a slightly newer model. Now, it's 900 watt, 1500 VA. Um, which means I can only run my PC in one of the two screens from it because the PC is 800 watt. But it'll give me enough time to shut the computer down should the power go out. All right. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go out to the table. We're going to take the top off it. We're going to check the batteries. We'll also check that damn filter cap. Um, and we'll also check whether or not the inverter is in good condition or not. Now, all this I've got to do in circuit. Um, I Testing capacitors in circuit is not necessarily a good idea per se, but I'm hoping we can get away with it. All right? Maybe. We'll have to see how that goes. Nevertheless, let's get out to that table again and take the top off this CyberPower UPS and have a sticky beak, and let's hope it's just battery-related and it's not anything more serious because I need a UPS which is also acts as a power filter which would be handy wouldn't it let's get into it all right well I've got the top off this thing I'm gonna get my screwdriver hang on so we'll take this out as well because we want to check the uh, capacitor and to see whether or not there's any burn marks on the circuit board I'm hoping, as I said, I'm hoping this is just a case of battery failure and um, I can put some new batteries in it. Circuit board. It doesn't look too bad, does it? Just turn the torch on. A bit warm there it might be all right let's have a look at that capacitor 22 mic at 400 v mm, there's that rotten glue geez i hope this is just battery <laughs> i really hope this is just a battery failure and that that capacitor has not actually leaked be good if it was wouldn't it 
Hang on, let me put the camera down so I can flip this on its side. It looks like it's just the glue. Cap's not bulged. It's dead flat, which is good. Doesn't look like there's any failed componentry. So I'm thinking this might just be a battery, a battery failure. Take a look at the other side. There's your IGBTs with the inverter. All right, let me get the front off it and we'll check those battery voltages. All right, got the multimeter set DC. Two point, yeah, I think the batteries are shot. How about this one? Yep, gone. This looks like it, oh, look at that. They're totally dead. All right. So what I'll do now is change the batteries because I do have spare batteries. We'll change the batteries out and uh, see what happens. All righty. So we'll just quickly check these ones here. Thirteen volts on that one, and thirteen on that one. All righty. Let me get these batteries in, and we'll see what happens. All reconnected up. This is basic stuff we all know how to do this so now what i want to do turn it on well, that's a good sign the batteries probably need charging all right we'll put this on and then we'll put the cover back on and put power to it and see what it does all right, so batteries are all connected, front covers on. Let's make sure we've got clearance so that no terminals are touching. Hang on, I buggered that up. Damn it. All right. It'll have to do for now anyway. All right, let's get this front cover back on and then let's uh, power it up and see what it does. Hopefully it comes up all right, but... Except for the fact the camera won't focus. There we go. I'll put the cover back on just in case it, you know, does the hand grenade thing. And then we'll see what happens. So with the front on, let's get rid of that. Display is very dim, as you can see. Batteries need charging, but at least I've got some charge in them. All right, let me go and get an IEC lead and the extension lead and let's power this up. All right, well, we're all plugged up. The power's on. Nice. There we go, a poor man's repair on a UPS and it was just simply batteries. Thank God for that. 91 minutes of runtime. All right, voltage is high. God, look at that, 248 volts coming into the house. Schweppes, well, there we go, fixed. There's old mate's new UPS. Which, as I said, will just have the main PC on it and uh, one monitor because obviously I've got the bigger power supply in the um, in the uh, computer. So 900 watt. Hang on. Sorry, phone rang. Anyway, so there we are. Well, I'm happy with that. It's not a bad, not a bad repair. I'm glad it was just batteries. 
and nothing else. Um, good thing that cap hadn't gone. I probably could have tested the cap in circuit, but I wouldn't have got a proper reading. And of course, I don't have an ESR meter, so we'll see what happens. But there we are. Bit of a poor man's repair video, I think we'll call this one, because we know old mate is poor. And uh, there we go. All it needed was batteries. Nice. Have a good one all, and I, once I get this set up and get the uh, CyberRoam Power reinstalled, we'll do a quick follow-up video to this. All right, we'll see what else crops up throughout the day. Other than that, I'll catch you tonight. Have a good one all. Cheers.